New York. Is there a problem? Another one? Central's picking up some unusual activity at the New York Museum of Art. Looks like a break-in. It's all stolen artwork, recently recovered from the personal collection of... Deadpool? That Harlequin is an art thief? Uh, no. Red Skull is the art thief. Deadpool is more of a... kind of like... You really need to see for yourself. Good luck, kiddo. You're going to need it. Caretaker, are you sitting in with Carol? Oh, no. Not if Deadpool's involved. He cannot be that bad. <laughs> Just wait. Any intel on our museum thief? Let me guess. Captain Mayo in the archives with a candlestick. Hydra Mystic in the warehouse. No candles. Whatever Hydra is looking for, it seems they have yet to find it. Just don't let them find you. You the new guy? Huh? Sorry, the new fully customizable, heroically upgradable monster masher? Wisecracking anti-hero. Merc, very occasional hero. Whatever. I'm adaptable. Spin me off, it's a big franchise. Stop talking. Are you here for the statue too? What statue? The one my very mysterious and very scary client from somewhere in very Eastern Europe wants me to steal back from the guy who stole it from him? It's the circle of crime. That one? Well, Jimmy, my frickin' chagas. Yeah, that one. Hands up and pants down, ladies and gents. This is a robbery. I'm sorry, have we met? Aren't you sloth? No, no, Sylvia. Cindy? Please kill him. Sin, that's it, of course, Sin. Granddaughter of Redhead. I mean Skull. I mean Skull. Whatever. No! You never seem to have much luck with these stealth approaches. I have yet to participate in one that was actually quiet. Quiet is boring. I'm almost never quiet, and things go not terrible for me sometimes. Try not to get wiped out by Hydra flunkies while you're mouthing off. Not dying is actually a key part of my strategy. Your face is Insanely annoying, as expected, but at least he can fight. Step away from the artifact. Click! Did you just say click? Yes, I did. For emphasis. Now hand over the statue. Fool! Do you know what- I Monologue free zone here. It's in my contract. Sorry. Now, respect the click and hand over the... Whoa. Big click energy. I like it. Want to help me kill some Nazis? Hydra aren't Nazis. Ah, potato frittata. What they have outlives their usefulness to me. See? I had your back. Right. Where is Sin? In the statue? Oh. Hmm. The level designer says she went that way. Why betray her own people? Maybe she appreciates a plot twist? You first. I 
this a mole man thing? Please let this be a mole man thing. Cause you know I'm the biggest mole man fan. Uh oh. seem Hydra and their mistress have escaped with the artifact. Is this like one of those monkey's paw things? I say, Mole Man, and the universe gives us off-brand vampires? They're vampires, with a Y. It's a whole... <sighs> Don't ask. Wasn't gonna. So, is there some special way to dust these critters? Guess how many times I've heard that. You were too weak for this fight. These vampires are a problem. At least we know how to handle them. That statue, not even a sparkly hole can cheer me up. Is this about your very scary client again? When he finds out how royally I botched this mission, or worse, when he finds me, I'll be... <laughs> Deader, Pool? There it is! You go, new guy! And by that, I still obviously mean the new fully customizable... Come back with us to the Abbey. No. The magical wards will protect you. No. Hell no. You can hide there. Help us track down Sin. No. Fight off the vampire infestation. If you insist. Look, Ma, I'm gonna be DLC. Bringing Deadpool into the fray was your decision. I hope it was for the best. Thanks again, Hunter. If you'll excuse me, I need to mark my territory. Thanks, Hunter. You're literally a lifesaver. I'll just lie low until my job is done. Does your job always require you to steal art? If that's what the client wants, sure. Most of the time, it's making people sleep forever. The forbidden nap, if you will. Mercenary work is a grab bag of awful stuff, and it rules. That kind of work sounds less than ideal. Why? Because I unalive people on a contractual basis, and you do it for the good of humanity? The only difference between us is that I get paid. I got a lollipop as a tip once. That was sweet. I take no joy in it. Probably because no one's making it rain on you. Real game changer, I'm telling you. I did not know stealing a statue would get so, uh... Exciting? Neither did I. That's part of the fun. Can you tell me more about the statue? Do I look like some sort of artsy-fartsy hipster to you? I am wondering why it was important to you. Because looking at it made me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. You and Sin were both after the statue, so it must be valuable. It's valuable to my client, and that's enough for me. Your mystery client, who you will not tell me about? Not unless I want to be on the receiving end of his punishment. Normally, I'd be into that, but he's too scary. Scary how? So scary that I took a magical portal to a stranger's house in order to stay away from him. <sighs> You are welcome to stay at the Abbey for as long as you need. I'm gonna leave a Deadpool-sized impression on the couch. That's where I'm headed, unless you still want my attention. I have questions, if you do not mind. Sounds like somebody hasn't looked me up on the internet. Shoot. How come I have never seen you without the mask? It's physically glued to my face. If I try and remove it, my skin peels off like gum stuck on the bottom of a shoe. That sounds unpleasant. Eh, the mask helps hide what's going on under here. 
It ain't pretty, and I don't want to make people barf just by looking at me. That's not as fun. Or I can be honest and say there wasn't the budget for it. You pick whichever one sounds better. I find it hard to believe you are ugly. Hey, now, I never called myself ugly. This is to protect the softies who can't handle what peak male hotness looks like. What is your special ability? I have not seen it yet. Just because I can't shoot lasers or pick up and yeet a bus doesn't mean my power is invisible. Wait, unless I can turn invisible now. Hold on, let me try. Nope, still only got my super regeneration. Regeneration? You are able to heal quickly? My healing factor can basically bring me back from anything. No hand, no body, no prob. My cells are always regenerating. That is incredible. Makes the life of Merc a lot easier when you literally can't die. Sounds good on a business card, too. Can you tell me more about your katanas? Oh, the girls? I'm so glad you asked. They never get any attention. Guns are so impersonal. I like using the old hack and slash approach with these puppies. I also use swords. Using them takes much skill and strength. I might not look at Hunter, but I'm a skilled as hell swordsman. We should dance sometime. With our swords or with each other? Both. Can you tell me about how you got the name Deadpool? My mouth is special, Hunter. I say all kinds of words with it. That's kind of my shtick. I do not understand. We all have mouths. What does it mean? It means I talk a lot, hence Merc with a mouth. I crack jokes and break the fourth wall so much that I may as well be the Kool-Aid man. Who were you before becoming Deadpool? <gasps> I was just a normal dude except I had terminal cancer. Then I went through an experiment that was supposed to cure me, but surprise, it didn't. Instead of dying, I got the diagnosis of living forever because of a big oopsie done by bad people who turned Wade Wilson into this guy. Wade Wilson? Oops, that's me. Well, before all that crap. It sounds like you have dealt with a lot, Wade. Oh, don't even think about it. I have a badass superhero name for a reason! Before we came to the Abbey, you said you were going to be DLC. What does that mean? Deadpool living comfortably. But you know what it means. What? What, what? I misspoke. Talk later, Deadpool. Stringing me along? How cruel. <sighs> If you're bored, we can have a sword measuring contest. Did you sleep well? Oh, sure. I can pass out just about anywhere. Well, I hope the Abbey starts to feel like home for you soon. You know what they say, home is where the unresolved childhood trauma is. I'm sure you've got plenty of that. Everyone has scars from their youth. I am no different. Being here doesn't cause you to, no, oh, I don't know, dissociate? What is that? When you take a break from reality and shut the brain off, you should try it sometime. No. Despite some unpleasant memories, I am still quite fond of the Abbey. Ooh, someone should really write a case study about you. Don't worry about me, I love weird. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to explore all of the Abbey's nooks and crannies in great detail. Ooh, when are we gonna slay some vamps? We aren't going anywhere. This is a solo job. Uh, you know how boring solo jobbing by yourself is? Come on! No way, you're too distracting. I need to be focused out there. This could be a great bonding experience for us. We could touch stakes. Blade, you should bring Deadpool. Ha! See? Let me go put on my vampire hunting undies. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Hunter. 
I had to learn to work with you. So should he. But you aren't Deadpool. I've got something. No, don't tell me. You, day dead cat wrapped in cabbage? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? What? Wow, what is that? That is a hemolisk. Uh, the face not even a shemalisk could love. If that is a face. Because maybe that's its... Okay. Mm, definitely not the face. It's a vampire egg sac, which means now we're on the lookout for... Vampire bacon sac? Huh? Get it? What do we have? A full infestation? If we're lucky. Then I suggest you eliminate the threat before the vampires can get any stronger. On it. Or we pop that sucker like a giant zit. Yeah, no, your idea's great, too. Do what you can down there, Blade. And try not to lose your cool with that merc. Cough! Did you forget I can hear you? That's okay. Probably just a senior moment. I wouldn't poke that hornet's nest if I were you. I'm great with fossils. This needs her daytime bed for nap. Now listen here, you little... Oh, I love you too, Grammy. Weirdos like these that give people like us a bad reputation. Payback's gonna be Starting to lose my cool here, and that's not cool. Hemolus aren't something you just stumbled on out in the open. There must be a major infestation here. Wouldn't it take time to establish? Ordinarily, something's off here. Slowly, the plot thickens! Better call the ammo lamps! Blade, should we be concerned about hemolisks spreading throughout the city? Too soon to say. But knowing our luck, yeah. This whole team is just bursting with optimism and positivity! You! Positive vibes only. Right in the money maker. Ouch! Easy enough. Oh, good. The healing factor will fix me up. You do know I have a healing factor, right? Well done, you two. What the? I'll come with. Or should I just stay? Right. Okay. Good talk. <laughs> Looks like we're winning. The vampires are attempting to Civilian. Don't let them. Haven't seen a feeding frenzy in years. Not the vampires I'm used to killing. Aren't you normally death incarnate to them? They aren't being terror. None of this is normal. These new breed vampires don't know my name. Maybe you're still fighting with the midnight sun. Yeah, keep digging that grave. Give the mother my regards in hell. Like it or not, you all seem to work surprisingly well together.
something's wrong. Something's changed. No, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'm gonna go with new benches. Vampires attacking civilians in plain sight? That's not vampire protocol. Okay. Yeah, no, it's really not. Do you think anyone would notice if I just left you here? They'll know. Okay, okay. You want answers? I'll call my client. Not here. Back home. Where we're safe from client bots. Home? You mean my home? The Abbey? Which is absolutely 100% not your home? Make the call. Look, it's late in Latveria now. There's that whole time zone thing, and my client is a physician, you know, working those long physician hours. Oh, what? Sweetest guy, but he's a real bear when he's grumpy. Uh, can you come to the chapel? Blade is pissed, even for Blade. Hey, it wasn't that bad. Are you serious? It was awful. Quit being a pussycat. No one got hurt. No one got hurt yet. I don't care what you do in your off time, but when we're out on missions, you don't jeopardize the team. Got it? It's cute when you set up boundaries. I'm serious. You pull any of that crap that might put us in danger, and it's over for you. End of discussion. Don't worry, I'll stay very far away from the guy with the pointy stakes. Your unwavering optimism inspires me. This will feed my ego for weeks. Thanks for the save there. I thought Blade was gonna stab me again. Are you all right? All right is subjective, but I'm still breathing. I was hoping the two of you would not fight. I can play nice all day when we're out there kicking bad guy booty, but asking me to make friends? Barf. I am simply asking you to be nice. It is not that difficult. Mm, gonna stop you right there. These are my co-workers, not friends. I do not understand the distinction. When we go out on missions, that's our job. We're all playing for the same team. But asking me to get a drink after? That's what friends do. I'd rather pluck my eyes out with a rusty fork. I don't care if people don't like me. Can't blame him. It's hard being the most skilled, attractive, funniest, and humble person here. They could start an I Hate Deadpool club. I'm already a founding member. But for 20 bucks, they could join. You're only here for a short time. At least make the most of it. Ah, like a true choose-your-own-adventure. Gotta dump all my points to charisma. I am being serious. And it was very cute. I listened, all right? Are you and Blade going to be okay? I'm not going to lose any sleep over our squabble, but I can't speak for him. Just try not to anger him. For me. You missed your opportunity to make me pinky promise. What happens if you break that kind of promise? You cut off my pinky. Don't worry, it'll grow back. A new member to Haze. Don't worry, I'll be gentle. I have been watching you. Like in a secret admirer or creepy kind of way? You are very confident for someone who lacks self-worth. <gasps> At least buy me dinner before you peg me like that. Why are you calling me out? Because I also act the same as you. Careful. You don't want to be as chaotic as the pool. It's a lot to handle. I'm serious. It is hard to maintain confidence in oneself. 
You're an immortal badass. What's not to love? You ever heard the phrase, fake it until you make it? Wait a sec, of course you haven't. Basically, you pretend long enough, and then it sticks. It's the best way to trick other people into thinking you have your crap together. You don't do that? Certainly. I think it is a very human thing to do. Don't forget about the aliens. Thank you for your insight. Anytime. I love talking. All I'm saying is that we all have no clue what's going on, and I'm confident about that. <laughs> huh? Oh, you were serious. You know me, I'm always game for distractions. All right, no more getting into our fields. These vampires are getting out of control, and it's all Deadpool's fault. Blah, blah, judgey, judge. Don't be so harsh on him, Sarah. He's super brave, and super awesome, and super handsome. Thou saveth my behind from foul beasts. Thou shalt henceforth have my undying devotion. Aw, oh, shucks. Really tickles the cockles of my heart. We won't judge you. I don't even care that you're... Working for Dr. Doom? On my honor, in accordance with the mercenary code, I can neither confirm nor deny the identity of my client. You. Honor. At least tell us what this unidentified physician client hired you to find. <sighs> On my honor, in keeping with... No, wait, I can answer that one. A little something called the magma... Mana... Magna Carigo. That's it. You mean the Vampire Holy Grail? Is it really that bad? The ancient relic my blood-sucking cousins believe will cure them of every weakness? Sunlight? Silver? Garlic breath? Finding it wouldn't be melodramatic. It would be cataclysmic. Unless you happen to be a vampire. And? Have you found it? This close. Tracked it to some backwards country full of mud, goats, and potatoes. Transia. Like that's a thing. Transia. Why does it always have to be Transia? Mud? Goats? The Abbey is from Transia. So is one of the Midnight Suns. Love Transia. Love it. What's better than mud wrestling? Except goat wrestling, huh? And a huge fan of tater tots here. Stop talking. We have a relic to hunt. And I have the coordinates. Straight from my client's mouth. If he has one behind all that, duh. Never mind. You're not mad that I dissed your ancestral home, are you? Let us walk in silence. Wanna play the silent game? Oh, I'm so gonna win. Never mind, I lose. Like all things in life, I end things premature. An old abandoned castle? If that doesn't scream Mambo Cerebro, I don't know what does. Shh. First rule of relic hunting. An old abandoned castle is almost never abandoned. We have Hydra vampires up ahead. Acknowledged. You think the vampires joined Hydra, or was it the other way around? Ooh, which reminds me. Dear Hydra Bob, are you a vampire? Love, Deadpool. Proceed with caution. No time to dilly-dally. Of course. Well, guess what, everybody? I'm okay! Questions. Is blood-sucking abomination a higher rank than Goon in Hydra's power structure? They're all equally disposable. You're kind of dark, huh? I like it. They wear Hydra Loyal to their hunger. Don't hold back. You all heard it. Grammy gave me permission to murder. This place would make
make a great haunted hayride. Maybe Hydra can earn a few extra bucks in the off-season. There won't be an off-season if this keeps up. their lesson, but we all know that's wishful thinking. by your allies as they tried in vain to destroy my grandfather. And that would be Red Skull, I gather? From the, you know, redness of the, um, skull behind you? On our left. Careful. And you be careful. Please, it's been a rough couple years. And I love you for who you are. A great man, my grandfather. A brilliant man. I worshipped him once. Just once? Must not have been that great. More to our right. But at last, I have a new master. A worthy one. And when the ritual is complete, and the Magna Core ego is awakened, we shall... Rude. Oh, is that my bad? Hold that thought. Oh, good. Hydra Bob's not a vampire. What were you saying about the mango gazebo? Enough blasphemy. End them now. My grandfather like granddaughter, huh? Poodle nut job. <laughs> and that's coming from me. Close your and mindless driven. If nothing else, she is perceptive. Hey, I put a lot of thought into that trip. Soon, this world will be ours. And there will be no more time for heroes. What about anti-heroes? Or occasional do-gooders? I'm hard to define. You will not be spared. Fine, I'll get my own Mamba Gaspacho. Your face is here. Once again, Lilith's servants fall. I doubt they'll take that feeding to heart, but we can always hope. Arrogant mortals! The Magna Core ego is eternal! Its darkness shall spread across the lands until the world is cloaked in endless night. Blah, blah, blah. First, I'm evil. I'll use something, it something, world you. domination. Blah, blah, going to destroy you. Now, prepare yourself. Something, something, something. Ah, screw it. You shall bear witness to the ascension of... Quick! What? That's a little on the nose, don't you think, Cindy? <laughs> Whoa! Cindy Smog cannot be good for the old Lungaroos! <laughs> Caretaker, are you tracking this? Affirmative. Hold on. We're getting you out of there. Farewell, my friend. Yeah.
not fret. The Magna Corrigo was not crucial to my ascension. Rise, my child. We must prepare for the endless night. Yes, Master. Well, everything is out in the open now. I'm fully exposed. Are you not worried about any repercussions from this Doctor of Doom? If I think about it too hard, yes. But lucky for me, this dome piece is empty. There's so much free real estate up here. How did you even get involved with him in the first place? Uh, haven't you listened to anything I've said? Money. You knew he was dangerous. Was the job worth it? Yeah, you can't make an omelet without strangling a few chickens. Besides, fumbling the bag led me to you. A win-win situation, if you ask me. So long as you are happy with the outcome. Oh, I'm putting Merc stuff on the back burner. No freelancing. Just gonna work pro bono for the Midnight Suns. Did you know pro bono doesn't mean what I thought it did? I cannot speak for the rest of the team, but it will be nice to have the extra help. I hope my heroics with the Magna Corrigo back there bought me brownie points with the goody two-shoes around here. I did not anticipate you destroying the Magna Corrigo. What? Mr. Questionable Morals can't have a change of heart? I am pleasantly surprised. I choose to take that as a compliment. So, what is next for Deadpool? I've got an exclusive contract with the Midnight Suns. I have always considered you part of the team. The more murder hands, the merrier! Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go make my presence known. How will you be doing that? Fireworks, balloons, gunshots. The huge. Just because there is talk of a slime monster lurking beneath Manhattan does not mean... Oh, it does. Look, I know Eddie and Venom. They're not what you'd call unsore losers. And we did, you know, kind of bury them under an old bell tower. Has anyone seen the creature since? Long gone by the time S.H.I.E.L.D. showed up. They go to ground when you wound their pride. In this case, underground. Venom on the loose. Licking his wounds. Now that's a friendly neighborhood problem. So, how about we go solve it? Do you have a question? <sighs> you gotta work on your social cues. Are you worried that Venom will hold a grudge? Well, I wouldn't say worried. I've come to expect it. You still think this is a good idea? And he tries to be a savior, but sometimes he needs to be saved from himself. Besides, what's the worst that could happen? He could eat one of us. Worse. We got all the slime in the world. So, where's our slime monster? Vampires. Maybe it's the Downtown Express? Sounds like a lair. Sounds like... Side of vamp over easy. Not so easy for the vamp. Oh, gross, Eddie! It's hard to know who to root for in these parasite versus parasite situations. Parasite! A demonically possessed symbiote? With a vampire's bloodlust. Not good. Come on, Eddie, don't do this! 
They are definitely doing this. I should have known that thing would crawl back to the sewers, once Lilith had no use for it. We have no use for Lilith! We don't need her! Tell yourself whatever you have to. Uh, not to interrupt, but... Have you really So if you are the what does that make you? This is low even for you, Eddie. Moping in the sewers, scarfing down the undead? You're better than this. We are better! Better than Lilith! Better than you! not lost his way with words. Remember the old days, Eddie? We had our differences, but were they really as bad as this? Good or bad, we have had enough of all of you! I'm really getting through to this. Ooh, I like it! Their time is Energy from every pore! Don't lose it, pal. Either of you. He is lost. One mercy remains. Ah, yes. The elimination of one tormented soul for the good of many. Humans do love a moral dilemma. The umami of an otherwise flavorless existence. Mephisto. Gesundheit. Uh, nice mullet. Go to hell. There's nowhere I would rather be, but I've come on business. So let's make a deal. Is this one of those fiddle at the crossroads scenarios or. No deal. My terms are as follows. I spare Venom. I cure the symbiote of Lilith's demonic touch. I end the blood fever he's given himself, gorging on curdled vampire bile. I wretched little thinking of it. I said, no deal. All this, and I ask but one inconsequential thing in return. Stop the vampire uprising. The undead are bad for business. So, you cure Eddie, and we keep doing what we've been doing? Yes. Wipe them out. Remove every trace of their foul scourge from the earth. Then, I will cure this pathetic creature. Forever. For the last time, no... Hold up. Give me the fine print. Nothing much. The usual. If you should fail, you'll discover something far more threatening than the undead, namely yours truly, etc., etc., immortal soul, yada yada. This is a bad idea. This or he dies? We don't have much of a choice. I'm in. Good. Just sign there and there. You may feel a little steep. Should follow. You do have a vampire war to wage. Oh, and Peter, I'll see you around. How did he know my. Huh. <laughs> All the surprises we've had so far, that was one of the weirdest. So, uh, it's a truce then, right, Eddie? We feel like ourselves again. We could. But ourselves, we will spare you for now. Hey, that's progress. 
He didn't threaten to eat you. That is progress. I cannot possibly match your strength. This is the worst headache any ever had. We need a nap. Almost forgot what you were like before Lilith got in your head. I've kind of missed it. It is your fault Lilith got in our head to begin with. Is that really what you think? I can keep you from eating my neighbors! Always following us! Making us hungry! Not on my job! Monster? Something like that. So, you okay, Eddie? Blood! <laughs> it's kidding, little joke. Uh, no, I, I come in peace. For once. Really? New kids gotta get in on this too? Hey, by the way, you're killing it out there. Respect. Thank you. Not my first vampire war. Eddie, are you yourself again? Well, you mean, are we ourselves? Yeah, Lilith. She made us a monster. We did awful things. You know that's not who we are, right? Of course. So I'm sitting here. Well, in there. And thinking. <clears throat> I saw what you did for me. So, how about we put aside all our, uh, you know, personal stuff? Okay. No, not forever. Just... Just until this whole messed up vampire situation is figured out. Till all the innocent people are safe. I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Works for me. Shake on it. Oh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Put her there, partner. I'm there, partner. Welcome to the Midnight Suns. You guys really put the home in home base. This is an impressive setup. I hope the accommodations are better than what my mother provided. Uh, your mother gave me a lot of stuff, but most of it was grief. Uh, thanks again for what you did for me. As if my past wasn't complicated enough, your mother added a fresh pile of regrets. Eddie, you are here because a mutual friend believes in you. And you mean he believes I'm trouble. And he's not entirely wrong. I do not want you at each other's throats. Look, Parker and I have a complicated history, but it's water under the bridge. Oh, well, I guess we're still building that bridge. But we have bigger fish to fry. From the yeah, bridge. But enough about us. Can you trust me after everything that happened? I mean, I kept trying to eat you. After 300 years, I am not that appetizing. Wow, yeah. Probably for the best we never found out. So, now that we've cleared the air, I'm a little worried about the deal we made with the devil. That's the first time I've meant it, literally. I agree with you, but Peter made his decision. Our plan was to stop the new breed vampires. Now we can do so with your help. 
Maybe. I can't shake the feeling that he traded the devil we know for the devil we... Well, for another devil we know. Why are there so many devils? If the world ends, we shall never know. I'm glad you sound confident. The symbiote and I are on the fence. No offense, but I hear there's a gym here, and I'm itching to check it out. I'm gonna do that, unless you need something else. I would like to get to know you better. Okay, hit me. I would like to know more about you. Really? Like what? What was your life like before you became Venom? I was a reporter, and I was pretty good at it. Well, I was okay. Somewhere between okay and pretty good. Had a few wins. Then one major gaffe blew up my whole career. What happened? <laughs> uh, it's a long story. And not my favorite one to tell. Maybe I'll share the details someday. All you need to know is that it nearly ended my career. I still find the occasional reporting gig, but... Well, let's just say it's for news sites with stories about how the government buries alien bodies in the desert. Do they? Oh, yeah. Just not the kind of aliens these sites talk about. What drives you to fight for justice? Plenty of people will tell you I'm no hero. Some of them might be living in the Abbey. But I really do care about doing what's right. And I guess you could say I had a tough childhood. Always wished I'd had a strong friend who could save me from the monsters in my life. So I became a monster. To save those too small to fight for themselves. Yeah, they might be afraid of me, but... I'll keep them safe. You seem ruthless for a hero. Is that a question? Half the Midnight Suns believe the greater good can sometimes outweigh a single life, but none of them... well... Eat their enemies? <laughs> you could put it that way. Eh, my brand of justice is an acquired taste. I would like to know more about your symbiote. Naturally. Go for it. How did you and the symbiote connect with one another? I got bitten by a radioactive pool of motor oil. What? <laughs> uh, nah, that would have been less traumatic. Truth is, Spider-Man brought the symbiote back from space. Space? <laughs> Be surprised what that kid gets up to. Anyway, Parker found the suit ill-fitting. His loss was my gain. Maybe I'll tell you the story someday. What are your capabilities on the battlefield? But without your mom's demonic protein powder, we can still bench press a bus if we need to. We also have limited shape-shifting abilities, our tendrils are handy when we need to grab something or web someone to a wall. Uh, oh, and we can also camouflage ourselves if needed. Don't tell Parker, but he traded down when he went back to those red and blue pajamas. I notice that you sometimes refer to yourself as we. Why is that? Because I'm a king in black. What does that mean? It doesn't matter. Truth is, Venom isn't a singular personality. It's a combination of myself and the symbiote. That's why we say we. It must be strange to have a conversation with the voice inside your head. Yeah, well... If you thought it was hard fighting vampires, try doing it when your costume is yelling in your ear. Eddie, can I talk to Venom now? Uh, that's not how it works. I'm not deranged. I just share a body with an alien symbiote. And okay, yeah, that does sound deranged. But it also happens to be true. You want to talk to Venom? You always are, Hunter. Actually, I have to run. I'm around if you need me. What are you doing? I think I'm getting the hang of this thing. Uh, what do three squiggly lines mean? It means you should step away before Sarah notices. Okay, so the squiggly lines just flashed red. Is that bad? 
Yes, actually. What is going on? Vampires? Attacking civilians in Central Park? Well, that means we're up, right? Innocents are in danger. We gotta take care of this right now. Eddie, I agree completely. Ah, first time I've heard that in years. Come on, let's do some lethal protection. <sighs> Still feels good to be free from Lilith's control. I can only imagine. And I hope you never have any more than that. clear now. Do not jinx yourself. Trust me, no one will ever put me under their thumb ever again. one may choose to save the odd civilian. Contractually, in the fight to end the vampire scourge, the spirit of the intended agreement... Oh, eh, come again? I did not waste my time curing you so you could save superfluous human lives. Yeah, still boring. Do I have your attention now? We all know what you really are. A monster. The only version of you that remotely interests me, and the only reason I allowed this deal. Stop doing that! Oh, I'll stop. But you've earned an object lesson. Vampires are bad for business. Vampires keep souls from flowing to where they're most needed. And with less souls, there are more soulless. Do you understand the lesson? because it's time for some target practice. Mm, so many targets. I just see two of them. Let's see if you can do this properly. I'll give you one chance. We are not your toys! Kill them all. It's really quite simple. You've earned some small measure of my respect. And I hope learned your lesson. The lesson is, we do not like being the target! Of course you don't. And that burning in your chest, that would be... Uh, indigestion? That would be regret. The most overused human seasoning. Seasoned humans are delicious. Would you? Enough! If you want this so much, Stop posturing and tell us where to go. Find what you seek, where it all began. Now, eradicate the vampire threat, or join me in limbo forever. You do not dare! Right, off you go. I don't know why I bother. Hey, you mind checking in with Eddie? Whatever happened with Mephisto has him especially bummed. Why not talk to him yourself? Uh, because I want him to cheer up? Of course. I will speak with him. Thanks. Oh, and don't tell him I asked. Wouldn't want to spoil his mood any further. You seem frustrated. If you need to vent, I could hold the punching bag while you hit it. 
Nah, I can't take everything out on Peter. That is not what I... Yeah, I know what you meant. Sorry, Hunter. Didn't mean to bite your head off. Honestly, I feel like I'm the one who's getting used as a punching bag right now. Mephisto is getting to you? Ha, <laughs> for starters. Eh, don't forget about Lilith. And with these vampires, feels like everyone's forming a line. That is a lot. Your mother controlled me. She took away my free will. Now Mephisto has me under his thumb. I'm tired of being someone's puppet. You are angry, and you should be. Channel it. Use it to fuel the battles ahead. I got no shortage of fuel, so don't worry. But... I get your point. My symbiote is a great companion, but makes it hard for me to think straight when I get worked up. You know, I always thought of myself as the lethal protector. I can be the bad guy if it means protecting the innocent, but Mephisto has me all twisted up. It makes me think I can't even do that. Sounds like the only thing left to do is teach Mephisto not to mess with the Midnight Suns. Huh. All right. I can get on board with that. You know, I was, I was actually thinking about that already. You ever heard of the legendary Spear of Perseus? And not, not the fabled hero who beheaded Medusa, but the real-life Macedonian king. A book in the library says he possessed a god-forged spear that made him invincible. A son like that uh, might kill Mephisto. If Perseus was invincible, what happened to him? Oh, his territory was eventually conquered by the Romans. But I'm sure that's only because the spear had been stolen before then. You really believe a blade like this still exists? Well, yeah, it's indestructible. It's gotta be somewhere. The only place you'll find the Spear of Perseus is in books of myth. It is not a real thing. Hey, people once wondered if aliens were a hoax, and now I'm wearing one. But, okay, I see what you're getting at. I'm taking the screwball approach to things like I always do. But still, I have to do something. Give me some time to think. You talk to Eddie? How's he doing? He was upset at his ill treatment by Lilith and Mephisto, but he wants to do the right thing. I plan to support him. That makes two of us. He needs time to recover, but it seems he will be all right. Sure, but how do I put this delicately? I'm concerned his emotions will get the better of him. How so? Well, Eddie was always an emotional tornado, but the symbiote doesn't help. It feeds off his emotions, enhances them. Eddie's feelings are not his own? Oh, they are, but they're amplified, sometimes to a dangerous degree. Take it from me, the symbiote can really wind your gears. Eddie will have an easier time taming his impulses if he feels like part of the team. You're right about that. I hope the rest of the team can be patient with him while he adjusts. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on him. If he stops acting like the Eddie I know, you'll be the first to hear it. I thanked you for bringing me back with you, right? I know we're here because people are in danger, but I have to admit, I'm a little excited. I've had this strange feeling ever since I made that deal with Mephisto. Probably nothing, right? All this excitement has really got me thinking about forming a team of my own. Spider-Man and his astonishing pals. His stupendous companions. I'm circling it, I know. Don't you ever get tired? Of what? You know, being responsible for everything. Surprised your poor back hasn't broken yet with all that pressure. Not really. It is something we all must deal with as heroes. Ah, don't get me started on the job. 
We've got no health insurance, no time off, and get paid scraps. Ah, America. Gotta love her. I am honored to protect those who cannot defend themselves. That has great marketing potential. Doesn't change the fact that our job sucks. It can be stressful, but it is part of the role we play as heroes. I didn't know hero meant chump. No offense, but I'm not bending over backwards for free. Everyone has their own reason to keep going. Mine is cold hard cash, but that still doesn't change the fact that our job is harder than me at a katana store. Just hearing the word hero makes me want to walk into oncoming traffic. It is not that bad. Says the poster child of heroism. Haven't you ever fantasized about leaving it all behind? You make it sound so alluring. Because it is. You could just peace out and skip off into the sunset. Skipping is very manly, by the way. Cool way to go. I cannot. I am needed here. But you like the sound of it. What you're feeling is normal, Hunter. We've all thought about ghost in this lifestyle. That is... reassuring. Thank you. Now, if you ever want to, uh, elope, you know where to find me. Grrr. Oh, we're definitely doing that again. What are you doing? Whoa, don't go creeping up on a guy when he's sowing his wild oats. I'm just spreading my seed. Hoping to leave my mark in the Abbey, starting here. Why are you gardening? Well, your friends have been avoiding me like the plague, so I decided to make nice with Mother Nature. Speaking of, you seem to be getting really friendly with everyone. That's cute. Why would I not be? They are part of our team. Friendship makes us stronger. Ah, ah, ah. Your team. Don't lump me up with the rest of them. I have a reputation to keep. What is wrong with making friends? Friends are just another liability in the world of mercs. It's like Murder 101, Hunter. Get with the program. Yeah, well, like it or not, everyone's fallen over themselves to be part of your posse. You sound bitter. Do I? Hold on. Let me tone it down for you, Cupcake. I'm just speaking facts here. Don't get me wrong, having a fan club is great. Gets a little weird when they write self-insert fiction, but it's still flattering all the same. Keep up the good work. It strokes my ego. Why do you keep calling them my fans? They are my friends. What makes you so sure? Being open and honest with one another shows trust. Mm. It also puts a big target on your back. Pass. It is a risk I am willing to take. Come back to me after it backfires, so I can rub it in your pretty little face. I'm gonna say it until the day I die and regenerate. The only person you need is yourself, Hunter. All that personal mumbo-jumbo just weighs you down. Hunter, got a big problem, not sure how to fix it. Slow down, Peter. Tell me what happened. Okay. Eddie left me a note. Real ominous stuff. Said he knows where to find the ultimate answer. Look, I've seen Venom in dark places before, but this? I'm worried he and the symbiote have hit a breaking point. I will help you find him. That's just it. I looked everywhere. Unless he crawled into the forge, he's not in the Abbey. He's not in the Abbey. Exactly my point! He asked me to open a portal. So I did. Where did you send him? A church. Where Venom and I fought in the bell tower? Yes. Hunter, that's where Venom was born. We have to go, right now. All right, Peter. I will follow your lead. Ileana, Open could you- Open a portal. Ah, fine. But no more piecemeal trips. You must all return together. That's the hope. We are going to the church where Venom was born? Yeah. It's where I ship the suit. If the suit is dangerous, what makes it safe for Eddie? I the symbiote are like broken pottery. They both have sharp edges. 
What's going on, Ed? Got to thinking. Mephisto said I would find what I seek where it all began. God be here, right? I guess this church is the place where I lose things, and you find them. Any luck? Whole lot of nothing. What's eating at you? I caused a mountain of hurt. In the name of some... freaky demon lady? Lilith. She controlled you, Eddie. She didn't do all this. I did. Look around. I'm never gonna clean this mess up. Never gonna make any of this right. You don't know that. Oh. You know me. I screw everything up. Maybe I deserve this curse. My Aunt May says the easiest way to let the darkness win is to do nothing. Yeah, well, I don't have an Aunt May. All I get is this. Whole lot of... watching someone else get to be the good guy. Must be nice. You okay, Parker? I gotta say, something's setting my spidey sense off. Kinda jacked up to maximum overdrive here. It's all about boundaries, Parker. Gotta put that thing on mute sometimes. Maybe someday, but this is different. It feels like... Vampires. You got my back? I got yours. Brothers in vamp slime. Let's do this. After you, Eddie. After us. <laughs> These catacombs are older than the church. Look, Hemalisks. We are looking. The elm could be eating. This could be the source of the whole vampire infestation. Uh-oh, that's not a small entrance. Infestation! Infestation! Prince of Darkness? Wait, you mean... The Father of Death. So to be clear... The Impaler. Humanity itself is the infestation. You insect. Okay, first, arachnids aren't insects. Don't feel bad. It's a common misconception. Second, Love the costume. Seriously, I dressed like you last Halloween. That is no costume. Crap. For a city teeming with heroes, I expected you much sooner. I still can't believe we're talking to Dracula. You didn't find me on your own. Who may I thank for this unwelcome intrusion? Mephisto. <laughs> Ah, he is a special sort of coward. Never meeting his adversaries face to face. My money is Hey, Mephisto or not, we can't let you turn New York into Transylvania. And to the devil's influence, I say, do your worst. This should help. Slow me down. Just the And why do you have to be? 
be a bad guy. I have so many questions. Oh, do you know Frankenstein? This monster? Aren't you the inquisitive child? The wooden thing? Curiosity plays the cat? We told you that wasn't us! Why are you really here? What could Mephisto hold over you? Free us from your bloodthirst! And don't forget about Lilith's corruption! The Mother of Demons has her claws in you as well? <laughs> now I understand your desperation. Then you know what we Of this. We've got this. On my count. I am ready. We are also ready. One, two, three! I understood that social cue. You think this stops my plans? Today, your only gain is an immortal enemy. Much better. Now, could someone give us a lift out of here? Another deal, then? No! No! Yes! No! Pity. So, aside from the soul hoarding thing, what is the devil's beef with Dracula? He broke his agreement. But I am pleased. We are not! You have made progress. I look forward to what comes next. Eddie can stay Eddie for now. Not to worry. I'll see the rest of you. Very soon. Hard to believe you were once rivals. Today, I fought beside partners. I guess you're right. It felt good working with you, Eddie. For the first time in forever, I didn't think the symbiote was preparing to devour one of my organs. Yeah, we really sent Dracula packing, huh? And it's a relief to have Mephisto off my back. You're a free man. What's the plan now? Yeah. Free. Uh, Eddie? This is the part where you say, I'm gonna eat two pizzas and sleep for 11 hours. At least, that's what I'd do after a big battle. But knowing the old Parker luck, that's when I'd stumble into a battle with Doc Ock. Eddie, is everything all right? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. And I will be fine. Completely free of Lilith's control. It almost doesn't feel real. Do you want one of us to pinch you? Joking! Don't worry. Dracula will get his eventually. And I'm gonna give it to him. Eddie, what is wrong? You've been so busy. I haven't processed what I did under Lilith's control. Guess my sins are still catching up to me. What can I do to make things easier? That's yeah, just it. No one can. I've killed before. I can't pretend I'm above that, but... But I try to only take a life if it means I'm saving another. And Lilith 
threw all that out the window. You see your victims' faces when you sleep? The worst of the faces I don't remember. I get flashes of memories, like corrupted videos on repeat. I see parts of what happened, but the details are lost. What do you remember? Only bits and pieces. I remember standing inside a house. Dark. Not sure how I got there or what I'm doing. But the place is ransacked. In one corner is the... the body of a young woman. Her arms twisted at odd angles. Her face obscured by a shadow. In the background, uh, I hear a baby crying. Then what happens? Then... nothing. I've had that one on loop for days. You are repressing memories because you fear them. You should face that fear head on. I'm no stranger to doing bad things. But what could be so bad that the symbiote won't remember? Anyway, thanks for checking in. And don't worry too much about me. I'm gonna stick around and do what needs doing. I know you will. I may have lost a step, but I promise you this. Lilith will regret she ever got into our heads. Getting reports from all five boroughs. More Hydra troopers with fangs. Talk about making a bad thing worse. I've tried tracking down what they're up to. Find anything? Nothing that could still speak. I may know somebody who could help. No offense. This isn't exactly friendly neighborhood stuff. Not sure your contacts will be much help. He's not that friendly. Who? He's also not one of the bad guys. Who, exactly? A physician, of sorts. Look, do you want to figure this out or not? Never seen a vampire feed on another vampire. I felt it. One time. I bit you one time. It wasn't fun for me either. You taste like an old barbell. <sighs> There's a cat fight joke in here somewhere, but I can't figure it out. Look, Dr. Morbius, we need your help. Someone is turning Hydra troopers into vampires. We don't know why or what they want. According to the creature I just ate, they're after my research. I can tarry no longer. I must return to my lab before they... You're going nowhere. Don't have a hissy fit. It was right in front of me. Uh, maybe we can help each other out. So, where is this lab? You get used to the stench. I never do. Wait, wait. You were right, Doc. We shouldn't have tarried. I see you've located the doctor. I hope he's feeling cooperative. I think we're all on the same page here. Common enemy, the greater good. Everyone gets it, right? Of course. We'll see. Okay, that was awesome. These things are hardly worthy of being classified as vampires. Not that I'm overly protected of the title. That didn't stop you from feeding on them. You know as well as I do, Blade. Your thirst, my hunger. No one fighting for so long. Some of us have tried harder than others. Oh, you think I haven't tried to end this? I think you don't mind that you failed. 
Maybe you don't understand my path, Blade. I have surmounted one challenge after another just to reach this point. I know what you've been trying to do. It has nothing to do with stopping the thirst. Where my blood fails me, I have no choice but to feed. But that doesn't mean I can't change at all. Hate to break up the moment, but we should probably do the this, right? Ooh, that really looked like it hurt. You are the greatest gift any vampire could ever hope for, Blade. To see the sun with your own eyes. None of this is a gift. Maybe that's what you don't understand about me. Almost feel like I'm intruding here, but... I haven't seen anything to be concerned about. Okay, that was pretty cool. I doubt they were expecting such resistance. He was not one of the bad guys. Knowledge has no inherent morality. This is science. Tell it to them. They'll be fine. Eventually. What exactly are you doing here, Dr. Morbius? Research. A gamma serum flows through the blood of these Hydra soldiers, augmenting their capabilities. It inspired me to concoct a prototype sample, a serum of my own. I thought it might dampen the effects of the sunlight on my abilities, but its protective qualities were far more effective than I expected. Whoa, are we talking- Daywalker in a file. Morbius, tell me it doesn't work. Not yet. The prototype sample needs time to fully mature, but it's gone along with all my notes. I'll have to start over. Looks like they're back for seconds. Nah, they have the sample. They want to take out the only competition in town. Then we shall dissuade them. Cannot allow them to destroy my work. Protect my equipment. You left out some important details of your research, Doc. Better left unsaid, but it was all necessary. I knew you couldn't be trusted, Morbius. Hydra or not, this is wrong. The work Hydra has done with gamma injections was too profound to ignore. So you've been using them as some kind of guinea pig? Sounds a little unethical, though. As opposed to the gentle treatment you and your friends give them. Big difference. If my research here can help you defeat Hydra, and I've removed some of them from the front lines in the process, I don't see the harm. Heroes usually stand against human experimentation and false imprisonment. Because it's, you know, evil. Rarely have I ever been accused of being a hero. But your words aren't lost on me. I don't think you've changed at all, Morbius. You're just lucky I'm working with the Suns again. As opposed to what? Me leaving you here with your experiments. Maybe we can all hug this out later. 
No further abomination. Okay, okay, it's cool. Morbius is with us now. With us? You would bring a vampire into the Abbey? Well, he's not a vampire. Not exactly. If he was, he'd be dust. He became this way because of an experiment gone wrong, not a bite from a vamp. He's his own master, right, Doc? If I may, there are few judges of character better than Spider-Man. Back me up here, Blade. As much as I hate to admit it, we could probably use his help. This once. Hunter, was it? Thank you for not making a bigger deal about my arrival. I know my presence unnerves many. Peter and Blade vouched for you. You are lucky that I trust them more than I distrust you. Do not waste this chance. I see. It's good to know where I stand, even if that is atop thin ice. Help me understand what you bring to the team that I cannot get elsewhere. I am the world's foremost authority on vampire physiology. Blade knows a great deal about vampire rituals, habits, and social order, but he doesn't understand their biology. Why should that matter? <laughs> In a sense, you could say Blade can take a vampire apart, but he can't put one back together. I do not want to put vampires back together. No, of course not. Let me put it like this. If you understand the structure of an organism, you'll know its weak points, where to push so it falls apart. This is what I offer you. Then let me officially welcome you to the Midnight Suns. You will not regret this. Now, can you show me where we keep the prisoners? I would like to feast. What? <laughs> Only kidding. I think you'll be happy to know that I've actually already started researching vampire biology. That sounds like good news. Unfortunately, I also have bad news. I've been tinkering with a prototype gamma serum that suppresses the effects of sunlight on vampiric membranes. The vampires have taken that from me. Then we must take it back. That is why I'm here. And I would love to get back to that research. Unless you have further need of me. I want to know a little more about you first. Naturally. I am an open book. I have heard you called a living vampire. What does that mean? It means that, unlike most vampires, I have a pulse. How is this possible? Most vampires are tied to the supernatural realm. They are undead creatures. My gifts are a boon of science. I am wholly unique in that way. Quite literally a freak of nature. Who were you before you became a vampire? I was born with a rare, degenerative blood condition. My disease would have proven fatal if I had not taken matters into my own hands and experimented on my body using vampire bat DNA. I cured myself, but there were side effects. You seem to know Blade and Spider-Man well. What is your impression of them? When I first became the living vampire, I struggled with my baser instincts. It took me a while to maintain control over my appetite. Spider-Man and Blade were the first two heroes I encountered, and they protected many innocent people from my wrath. 
You mean they fought you? Yes. But I am grateful, because they encouraged me to become a better man. Though I wish Blade's approach hadn't been nearly so ferocious. I would like to know more about your capabilities. Like a traditional vampire, I possess enhanced strength, speed, and acute senses. An accelerated healing factor allows me to bounce back from otherwise mortal injuries. And while I cannot fly in the traditional sense, I have the psionic ability to glide over great distances. Do you share other vampiric weaknesses? One of the advantages of being a living vampire is that I do not have those Achilles heels. I could drink holy water all day, and a silver bullet stings like a lead one. One slight exception is daylight. I do not burn under the sun, but my eyes are sensitive to the light, and my powers are somewhat dampened during the daytime. Do you have to consume blood like any other vampire? Regrettably, not only do I need to consume human blood, I crave it. But you do not need to worry. I keep my cravings in check these days, and only feed on those who prey on others. Never mind. I will let you settle in. Happy to talk any time. Did you tire of listening to Doctor Strange's stories? The ones where multi-tentacled old ones feasted on cavemen? Nah. Actually, that sounds up my alley. I just needed some fresh air. Plus, Robbie likes to crank the volume on his video games, and I don't like loud noises. Right. Your uh, costume is sensitive to powerful sonics. You know, it's funny. My other has protected me from so many things over the years. Sometimes pushes away more than just bullets. Maybe you scare a few people, but at least you are protecting them. Dead people cannot say thank you. Honestly, most of the time, the people I save are too scared to say anything. Fear can be incredibly disabling. That's one way to put it. I should probably carry a backpack full of fresh underwear for all the bladders I disable. So your other's appearance is functional, but is it necessary? Maybe not. I'm not the only person who bonded with my symbiote. The suit often changes appearance with each new host. Have you ever considered adopting a new look? I could probably change my appearance, but the truth is... I like being intimidating. It makes me feel powerful. I am learning that the man behind the mask is less intimidating. It sounds a bit like an after-school special, but thanks, Hunter. Just don't tell Parker. Or... actually, don't tell anyone. You and your symbiote have an interesting relationship. It's simultaneously the strangest relationship I've ever had. As well as the most comforting. Thanks for talking about it, Hunter. I don't think everyone inside would take the time to understand how I tick. Now that the Hydra vampires have my prototype sample, I've no doubt they'll attempt to create their own sunlight serum. Mass produce it, more like. But where would Hydra vampires go to mass produce sunlight serum? Somewhere familiar to them. How about a Hydra facility that makes the gamma goop they put in their blood? Yes, I'm gonna go with exactly like that. How about one sending a distress signal about a vampire invasion? Might be a good place to start. Mass production of my prototype sample. It's a nightmare come to life. You have regret for creating your sample? Of course. But humankind didn't split the atom just to create bombs. In the right hand, science is a force for prosperity. About the wrong hands. When I am done with them, they will not have their own Has 
Has Hydra turned upon itself? No, this is biology. It is a vampire's nature to betray the living. Excuse me? Oh, but not mine. I differ on a biological level. Relax. It was a joke. Sin. I should have known you were behind this. Hold them off. We need more time. Go. Feed upon them. Let their veins bleed rivers. If we can disable those terminals, at the very least, we can slow their efforts to reproduce the serum. But we need to protect the server to access the data ourselves. Correct. And I thought technology was supposed to make our lives easier. I'm sure you've all realized what will happen if these vampiric Hydra forces lose their vulnerability to the sun. A lot of innocent civilians are going to pay the price, and we can't allow that. <laughs> Your concern for the guiltless is inspiring. And your lack of empathy for them is disturbing. At least my mother knows how to keep her minions in check. As much as she'd like to pretend, Sin doesn't hold the same sway as her grandfather, much less Lilith. Does it matter? She has enough resources at her disposal to be a problem. have the opportunity to settle our grievances personally. You're surprisingly enthusiastic for someone marching towards their end. And you are shockingly confident for someone who dares tread on the work of a superior intellect. This facility is quite impressive. If only it weren't being used for such twisted ambitions. That's Hydra in a nutshell. You know nothing of the great works achieved by Hydra. This will be our I've heard that before, too. Soon, the forces of Hydra will rule the day as well as the night. None will stand in their way. It's important they see you maintain an inspirational outlook in the face of overwhelming <laughs> Take that. Your prototype sample? Indeed. And now to destroy the sunlight serum. But it's not all here, is it? Of course not. We manufactured so much. All transported off-site before you even arrived. This is the final batch. A reserve. <laughs> I am a wolf in the night. <laughs> the yapping of a mangy cur does not concern me. Tell me where you brought the serum. Watch that temper, little mutt. You don't want to lash out and bite the ones you love. Tell me! Where else, you pathetic counterfeit? I delivered it to the Lord of Vampires. You don't know what you've done. Oh, but I do. <laughs> Dracula, my master, has enough sunlight serum to supply an army. And there's nothing you can do to stop him. <laughs> hey, Hunter. I saw Morby is heading toward Hunter's Folly. He looked distressed. Can you make sure he's not about to lose control? If I go out there, it won't be to talk. I'd like to be alone for a bit. I came out here to be alone, Hunter. 
Are you sure being alone is a good idea right now? Blade sent you to check on me, didn't he? <laughs> Probably didn't want to come himself because he thought we'd just end up fighting. Is he wrong? Of course not. And I can't promise we won't end up trading blows before the night is through, either. If you truly wish to challenge me, I will not back down. Mm, I've seen you in battle. I'm probably better off going after Dracula alone. Then focus your anger at him. They stole my work, Hunter. They... They perverted it for their own designs. There is an army of vampires ready to cut loose on the world, and they are all immune to sunlight. I did that. Not Dracula. You could not have known that Dracula would get his hands on your sample. No. But I should have foreseen that he'd want it. That he would come for it. We will fix this. Together. You're right. Wallowing in self-pity will accomplish nothing. We must prepare to act. Oh, and... Hunter, I'm sorry. My behavior tonight was beyond the pale. I wish you had not seen me like this. Doctor, my mother turned against me and started building an army. I understand betrayal. You have no need to apologize. You are too kind. I really am glad you came. Instead of Blade. Well, I would love a few quiet moments to meditate on what we've said. Unless you need something else. Enjoy the quiet. I'll just be here. Brooding. Checking in on me again. You really don't need to worry, Hunter. On the contrary, I would like to know more about your work on this serum. I'll answer what I can. How well do you know Sin? Not long ago, she approached me and offered to fund my research. I tend to keep a low profile, so the fact that she was capable of tracking me down told me she was a woman of considerable resources and connections. So if I'd known one of those connections was Dracula himself, I would not have worked with her. Your contempt for sin seems personal. What is that about? She manipulated me. I created this serum, hoping it could be used as a cure. Sin stole that work for Hydra, who knows only harm. Sin works with Hydra. What is her connection to Dracula? That is still a bit of a mystery to me. Sin covets leadership, but she is also drawn to men of great power. Dracula likely believes he is manipulating Sin for his own gain. Sin undoubtedly feels the same. I should let you go. I'll just be here, brooding. Getting word of another attack. Vampires in Central Park. Right before dawn. Can you imagine? Dawn? I knew this was coming. Just not so soon. The city is in enough chaos. We'll handle it. No problem. Ah, Blade. Ever the optimist, hmm?
will be up any minute now. They don't seem to care. Then let's make them care. Just to give away the beginning of fear safe in Central Park again. Yes, I'm afraid they'll have to cancel their picnics and ball games for today. I'm sure they're more worried about surviving. As they should be. I know this must pain you, Blade, to see your turf overrun like this. All that work. Kinda seems like you're trying to piss me off. Am I that transparent? In honesty, I heard you fight hard when you're in. I'm fond of that tactic myself, Doctor. As you can see, he doesn't always buy it. Or maybe I only play along when I feel like it. Without sunlight to fall back on, my job is about to get a lot harder. You seem to have plenty of other tools, or toys, at your disposal. Nothing scares a vampire more than the sun. It sure motivated you. Fair point. They do not fear the sun. I'll give them something to fear. No. Allow me! So, the wait is finally over. How long has it been since you felt the sun on your face, Dracula? Centuries. The better part of a millennium, in fact. And thanks to your unlikely ally, Dr. Morbius, I will bask in the dawn for eternity. I cannot allow that. My children will finally know true freedom. The power to rule the day just as easily as we rule the night. You rule the night? Maybe it's some rat hole in Transylvania, but New York is my town. All about to change. Just as it began, your legacy ends with the rising sun. To think I've come full circle. My salvation and my curse all began with you. A common refrain from vampires who haven't yet accepted their profound gift. Not everyone wants to feed on the innocent. You never did understand. I understood perfectly well. I just don't indulge in weakness. I'm impressed. That's one hell of a move. Lost children. You disappoint us. Betray us. Shed the blood of your own. No one hurts you more than family. Join us in the light. We won't ask again. Hmm. You won't. But not for the reason you think. I don't understand. Why aren't you? To mass produce the serum, you diluted my sample. Yes, it protected you from the sunlight, but each use of your powers burned more of it away. 
You are, as they say, running on fumes. And when those expire, so do you. This isn't over. It is, for now. Unless you'd care to stay for a walk in the park. to the sewer where he belongs. Are you disappointed we didn't destroy him? Nah, he always comes back. But knowing he's got to live with that humiliation almost makes it worth knowing you. You know, there are a surprising number of vampires in New York. A lot of them are cabbies. Doctor, you get all your powers from bats, correct? Yes, from several members of the Desmodontini subfamily, to be exact. Does that mean you sleep upside down, like a bat? No. And for the record, I don't sleep in a coffin just because I'm a vampire. How do you sleep? Most of the time. Poorly. I really needed that after our last battle. Oh, I'm sorry, am I in your way? Seems like you can't get enough of me. I must be fun. I should try blending blood into a smoothie next time. Congratulations, Hunter. Dracula's vampires suffered a major loss today. You deserve the credit, Doctor. You did good work today. The sunlight serum is so diluted it no longer poses a threat. The vampires have been cast back into the night where they belong. I don't think I can properly express my relief. Hunter, if you had not been there to lean on throughout all this, I do not know how I would have survived. This plague of vampires put stress on the whole team. We supported each other. You are too kind. I'm glad I found such a welcoming family of heroes. And about that. Hunter, you should know that I will remain committed to the Midnight Sun's greater mission. You all helped me in my time of need. It is only fair that I return the favor. Your support is much appreciated. Marvelous. But before we move on, we must make one final decision regarding the Sunlight Serum. We? Oh, yes. I value your guidance. My prototype sample is no more, but I still possess my research notes. I could continue my experiments in the hopes of curing myself and maybe others, unless... The risk of it falling into the wrong hands seems too great. If a cure is possible, you should continue to look for it. If someone tries to exploit your research again, we will be here to stop them. I was hoping you would feel that way. I can't wait to get back to work. After this business with Lilith is settled, of course. Thank you for your help, Hunter. What were you reading, Doctor? One of those political spy thrillers Captain Rogers is always heads down in? It's actually a medical journal on bi-specific antibodies and the treatment of hematologic malignancies. Just some light reading. You've all been working hard. You deserve some R&R. &R. Deserve? 
Based on my many past sins, I deserve nothing. Whoa, where did that come from? I'm sorry. I've been told that I tend toward the melodramatic. In truth, I've been in survival mode so long, I don't know where to find my own off switch. Just know your limits. When you burn a candle to its ends, the light quickly fades. Your concern is noted, Hunter. I won't overdo it. Well, I should get back to my studies. Medical journals do not read themselves. But I'm working on that. Hello? Hey kid, a mutual friend needs our help. Logan? But how did you get- I have my ways. Look, you want to help or not? <sighs> Depends on the friend. Aurora Monroe. Oh, of course. I'm free now. Good. You know where to find us. <laughs> where the trouble is. Eliana, thank you for coming. Aurora. You can always count on me. A friendship for all seasons is a powerful thing. Thank the goddess for that. We miss you at the school. You are always welcome home. I found my home with the Midnight Suns. But that does not mean I leave friends behind. What is the problem? A year ago, the Professor detected a mutant living here with dormant abilities. I met with her, a fierce young woman named Dahlia and invited her to attend Xavier's school. She declined. The orphanage was all she knew. I came here today to see if she had changed her mind, but according to the orphanage, she disappeared three months ago. Let me guess. As soon as her powers manifested. It's my fault. I didn't want to push her, to take her away from the only place she felt safe. I thought she could hide in plain sight a bit longer. I was wrong. You did what you thought was right, as you always do. Dahlia would never harm another person. And now she slipped through the cracks. Another ghost in the wind. This city is not kind to its ghosts. Especially not when it's infested with vampires. That's why we're gonna find her before they do. They already found us. Protect the children, at any cost. As if preying on the innocent wasn't enough for them, they come for the most vulnerable. I would call them cowards, but they are just mindless scavengers looking for an easy meal. I've got something they can chew on right here. Ah, Logan. Together again, just like old times. I should have been more vigilant. Dahlia was on her own here, alone with her burgeoning abilities. There was only so much you could do. Think how many mutants have faced the same difficulties. All of them. Our upbringing to face such undeserved trials. It falls to us to ensure that doesn't happen. It ain't even satisfying tearing these things apart. I can't tell if they even care. They may not care, but whoever lords over these pitiful creatures will miss them. They are probably making more as quickly as we end them. You're just... <laughs> ...of sunshine, reflected into your eyes. <laughs> That's the magic I know. Stay down. At least we got here in time to protect the children. Why bother protecting society's dregs, hmm? 
It is beneath your stature. Beneath me, all I see is you. The new breed vampires are an evolution, just as mutants were before them. But vampires continue to grow. <laughs> mutants remain tethered to humanity. A broken branch on the evolutionary tree. These castoffs are not your family. They are fuel. There is a food chain. And it is time we ate up. Surely you see it. Just as mutants push humanity ever closer to the ash heap, so too will this new breed. It is the natural order of this world. There is nothing natural about what you've done. Any mutant seeking to dominate humanity does not speak for us. Ah, oh, that is your mistake, and not mine. If you were truly evolved, you would see how your actions against those who cannot defend themselves are misguided. Oh, does humanity shed a tear for their countless meals? Do they care about their meat? One does not justify the other. Your mind is twisted. <laughs> or maybe I am seeing things more clearly than ever. We will not allow you to spread this plague across the world. My kind have little to fear from you. We are the future! If they're not scared yet, they better get started. As mutants! You should understand the struggle my kind has faced better than anyone. You chose to align yourself with these creatures. These are nothing alike. I chose to move beyond the limits. And I have no Very effective. We prevail. For now. was a quarter of my power. I'm glad the training stayed with you. The danger room left an impression. As you did, with Sin. She won't be back. It's why she was here in the first place that concerns me. Agreed. This is bigger than us. If we're going to take on Sin... And find Dahlia. We need reinforcements. Most of the X-Men are off-planet dealing with the Shi'ar brood war. Don't worry. The Midnight Suns will help. Storm, is it? Indeed. You must be the hunter. Magic told me about you. Why does that make me nervous? <laughs> Nothing but good things, I promise. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. I must say... This place is unlike anything I've seen before. There is an air of mystery and wonder, but it feels welcoming and safe all at the same time. How curious. The Abbey is special. It even holds secrets that I have not uncovered. Sounds unique indeed. I can already see the similarities between here and Xavier's school. Speaking of... What do you think is the most interesting part of the Abbey? Those who reside here make each day interesting and fresh. Yes, the people are the lifeblood of a community. I can say the same for Xavier's school as well. 
The students are all colorful characters. There's never a dull moment in these halls. <laughs> if there was ever silence, I would grow worried. Apologies. I have been dominating the conversation. Have you any questions for me? Yes, I have a few. By all means, ask away. Can you tell me about your background? I won't go into too much detail, but I was left orphaned as a child. I learned how to fend for myself and became a skilled pickpocket. You stole from others? To survive, and it worked. I scraped by. After a few years, my mutant abilities presented themselves, and I was approached by Xavier to join the X-Men. The rest is history. I feel like you were leaving some parts out. <laughs> Perhaps. My past is just that. It is behind me. And I prefer to focus on what is ahead. I saw bright lights coming from your hands. What was that? It's a little complicated, but I have the power to control the weather and atmosphere. What you saw back there was electricity. Wow, that is amazing. Now I understand the meaning behind your name. Thunder and lightning don't roll off the tongue as easily. You said your powers are complicated. May I ask how? Maybe I'll go into full detail another time. But let's just say I can't mess with Mother Nature too much. I see. Like checks and balances? Exactly. What is your given name? Aurora Munro. What about yours? The Hunter. Short and sweet. I like it. Does your name hold any significance like mine does? I was told it meant beauty. A little embarrassing, but I understand the intent. I changed my mind. The offer still stands. I think Dahlia might be hiding with the Morlocks. The Morlocks? Mutants who live in the tunnels beneath the city, and who stay away from the X-Men. There's a homeless encampment by an entrance to the Morlock Tunnels. Vampires have attacked it three times this week. That cannot be a coincidence. Do you think the vampires are hunting this child? I don't know. The city's most vulnerable population is being erased. Mutants and humans alike. Disappearing from shelters, off the streets. The vampires go after anyone the world would not miss. Or even notice. Until now. Quickly, you must help them. Save everyone you can, and keep your eyes open for Dahlia. I'm looking! Me too. I just don't like what I see. First it was the children. Now it's the city's unhoused population. These depraved creatures have no shame. They do not seem to feel anything at all. Only their hunger drives them. And yet they're still on the trail of Dahlia with these people caught in their wake. Then you're in the right place. At the very least, you can deny the vampires their next meal. Even in a city as renowned as New York, these people have still been left behind. The lack of empathy is not unique to this city, or this society turns its back on those who are different. Those with unusual ability are more likely to be shunned. Yes, we've all felt it in one way or another. Maybe it doesn't have to be that way for Dahlia. The end comes for us all eventually.
are being watched. Let them watch. Give them no cause to fear us. Shh. It's all right. You'll be as good as new. Dahlia? Aurora? What are you doing here? I tried to find you at the orphanage, but... But uh, what? It seemed you were in distress. I wanted to help. I'm not the one who needs help. Look around you. I can do more here than wearing a fancy yellow suit. The Morlocks took me in. They just welcomed me into their family. But now someone is trying to tear our family apart. I am so sorry. No, you're not. You say you're all about protecting mutants. But it's only the ones who live in that mansion. You don't even see people like us. That's not true. What happened here? We were attacked by creatures. We don't know what they are or what they want. Most of us fled after the last attack. Some are too wounded to move. I just need more time to heal them. What can we do? You really want to help? Stop those things from killing my family. These vampires are truly stockpiling victims. There is something much greater at work here. As if there's... It is never enough. There always seems to be a darker purpose waiting to reveal itself. At least it keeps us busy. Return to the darkness! Don't get up, even if you can. These Morlocks, they live here, beneath the city? Why have I not seen them before? These sewers have been home to all kinds. They've survived by avoiding unnecessary attention. And much like their counterparts on the surface, many people do not want to see them. Oh, that was something. You were too weak for this fight. I'm sure the Morlocks will be grateful. In their own quiet way. Dahlia! It's over. You're safe. Thank you, Aurora. And the rest of you. We're not used to people looking out for us. Is there anything else we can do? No. We'll be alright. I've healed the others. We'll move where they can't find us. Dahlia! You don't have to be alone. The X-Men would welcome you. Thanks, but I'm not alone. And I can't abandon my family for yours. <sighs> All right. And if you ever need me... You'll be the first we call. Goddess be with you. All of you. Don't... Hunter, I have a favor to ask. What do you need? Storm seems... off. I haven't seen her like this before. Can you speak with her? Of course, but why me? You both know what it means to lead. She sees you as a peer, whereas I will always be her student. You may be able to reach her in a way I cannot. All right. I will seek her out. Thank you. Oh, and 
Don't tell her I asked you to do this. I enjoy getting out there, even if the outcome is uncertain. You were right about the Abbey being special. It's beautiful out here. I like to come here when I am feeling down. <laughs> Subtlety is not your strong suit. You want to ask about Dahlia, yes? Dahlia believes you only care about the X-Men who choose to join. Her words hurt you. Not exactly, but they've left me to wonder. And the act of self-reflection is often... Uncomfortable. I do not follow. Her comment has caused me to think about how I treat my students. I don't think I choose favorites, but what if I do without realizing it? Regardless, I'm relieved to see her safe and happy with her found family. I'll keep worrying about her until the vampires are taken care of. I relate. The Midnight Suns are my family, and I share the same concerns over their safety. That almost sounds silly, worrying about people with powers. But I appreciate your words. It feels good to know I am not alone. I think the fear is natural. Having abilities puts targets on our backs. That is a good point. Just because we are strong does not mean we are invincible. <laughs> Where were you when I was a teenager? That's what leadership is. Knowing when to step in and when to respect boundaries. How do you know? They'll straight up tell you. Or you'll just feel it. Sounds complicated. It gets easier with time. Thank you for coming to check on me, Hunter. Leaders often have to take these burdens on by themselves. I'm not a leader. Oh, please. I call it like I see it. I have another question for you. What might that be? Have you ever used your powers for mischief? What do you think? I would hope you have fun with them every now and again. <laughs> Powers aren't always meant for fun, but it does sound nice, doesn't it? In all honesty, I use my powers to help mitigate bad weather. If it's raining, instead of stopping it, I'll create a little pocket of space where no one gets wet. Always in service to others, I see. Always. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll make it rain cats and dogs. I know that is an expression, but I wish you could do that literally. Me too. Find me again for next time. Shall I create some small waves? Just for fun, not for function. Is there anything else? How did you meet Dahlia? I learned of her through the X-Men. Once mutants hit a certain age, their powers manifest. I went to offer Dahlia a place at Xavier's school, but she turned me away. Was that the only time you approached her? No. The second time I tried, the orphanage told me she had run away. I'm thankful she found companionship among the Morlocks. I've never heard of a Morlock before. Morlocks are mutants who are visually distinct. I'm hesitant to call them different, but they avoid the X-Men. Different? Some Morlocks may have a gelatinous body, while others have horns growing from their head. Again, visually distinct. Do you think the vampires are after Dahlia or the Morlocks? It's hard to say. I do not know what they would want with either of them. Dahlia and the Morlocks are both mutants. Maybe the answer lies there. 
It's possible there's a connection there. I'd rather destroy the vampires before we find out for certain. No, that was all. Of course. Storm is a good mentor. It's just... some people don't want help. You can't force it. How did it go? Is she all right? We talked. I think I was able to lift her spirits. Oh, that is a relief. It is sweet that you care for her. Yes, yes. My heart of ice can melt on occasion. I was hoping we could get to know each other. Of course. I am available to answer any questions. <laughs> so you're an open book, huh? You don't find it hard opening up to people. It is easier to open up around those who make me feel comfortable. I couldn't have said it better myself. Easier to read the room and see what's worth revealing. You make it sound strategic. <laughs> Navigating relationships require a little bit of scheming. May I ask you a question now? By all means. Your powers are unlike anything I have ever seen. It is incredible. Was it difficult honing them? You flatter me. I've learned to control my powers, just like our colleagues in the Abbey. While my abilities are impressive, they can be... strenuous. How so? Apologies, Hunter. That is something I'd like to keep to myself. We are still establishing boundaries. There is no need to tell me right away. Thank you for respecting them. Answers will come in due time. Lucky for us, I am not going anywhere. <laughs> I sure hope not, Prophecy Killer. I think that's enough for now. Your patience will be rewarded, Hunter. Just not today. I enjoyed spending time with you, Hunter. I'm sure you've heard the expression, getting a second wind, Hunter. Second wind? Is it related to your powers? <laughs> no, but good guess. It's when you're able to continue doing something difficult after you've been tired. Sounds very useful. What will you do with this new energy? I'm going to keep tabs on Dahlia and the Morlocks. Make sure nothing else happens to them. Is that what she wants? She wants me to keep my distance. But I can look out for friends from afar. Vampires hit the Morlocks again. And Dahlia? Taken. So this is the part where we bring her back. I thought you might take some convincing. <laughs> <laughs> you had us at kill vampires. By the goddess. Since handiwork, no doubt. We should free them before they... This city has had enough of sin and her pets. She's long past due a reckoning. Bad news. More on the way. That is bad. For them.
As if the Morlocks have not endured enough scorn in this city. Sin has proven herself willing to step on anyone to achieve her goals. She'll get what's coming to her. I will make sure of that. How long has this been going on right under my nose? We have had no shortage of distractions from my mother. This is not your fault. Maybe not, but it sure does piss me off. Don't get up, even if you can. We must work faster to free these people! You're the heavy hitter. Throw a hurricane at him. Can she really do that? She can. Your mother abandoned you. About It sounds to me like they just missed their mama. Don't blink. They are free. Now, where is Sin? Dahlia! What the hell have you done, Vamp? What have I done? A work of true genius. Personal alchemies, artifacts, acquired over centuries. And blood? Siphoned from dozens of innocents? Hundreds. Mutant, human, a combined broth. All to fulfill my one purpose. The creation of a vast immortal army that can cross sacred ground that requires no invitation. No flaw, no failure, no death. Just perfection. No stakes, no silver, no weakness whatsoever. Except for me. Enough bravado. My plan was flawless. All I needed was the right filter. There will be no more running. You will answer for what you've done here and now. Why would we ever run from you? We stand proud. She's right, of course. There will be no more running for our car. Then this will end here. I shall never cower. When this is over, your blood will serve as the first of many exquisite meals to come. A banquet of the Daywalker, a mutant goddess, and... What are you, exactly? Unpalatable. I very much doubt that. No mercy. In the end, you are all alone. Then so shall it be with you! It seems vampires are vulnerable to lightning. That was half my power. You're all right now. You can.
came back for me. Of course we did. What now? We'll take you home. Wherever you want that to be. You can sleep in my room tonight, Dahlia. What? No, I don't want to kick you out of your own space. Don't worry about it. I can sleep in limbo. Oh, I'm guessing there's no point in arguing with you. <laughs> You're smart. Try to get some rest. You need it. In a bit. There's something I need to do first. How do you feel? Aside from the obvious? I'm alright. Although I've noticed my abilities don't feel the same. I don't know how to describe it, but it's, um... Darker? Yeah. How did you... I have darkness within me, too. I understand what it is like. <sighs> I... I don't want it to linger. To control me. How do you deal with it? I do my best not to tap into that part of myself. Doesn't that mean you're ignoring that it's a part of you? Not really. I know it is there, and I can feel it tempting me. But I have learned to keep it at bay. If you can learn to manage, maybe so can I. I have no doubts about that. You know, I'm actually surprised that you all came to rescue me. Don't get me wrong, I'm totally glad that you did. It was just... Unexpected. What is next for you, Dahlia? Honestly, I don't know. But for the first time in my life, I get to choose. Everything is up in the air, but, you know, I'm taking it day by day. I'm still cool to talk if you have more questions. Has your opinion of Storm changed? I was really unkind to her in the sewer. I spoke out of anger, and I regret it. The words you spoke held no truth? Yes. And no. It's complicated. But Storm showed up when it mattered. She cares about me and the Morlocks, and she showed it. You should tell her this. I plan on it. How do you feel about leaving the orphanage? Conflicted. On one hand, I hated it. Every day was a reminder that I didn't belong. But I was surrounded by kids who felt the same way, and we became a family. You miss your friends. I do. Leaving them behind sucked. But once I learned about the Morlocks, I knew I needed to help. Then you found another new family. I'm forever grateful they took me in. What are your thoughts on the Morlocks? They're my family. They took me in, and we cared for each other. We're all mutants just trying to get by. They are not wary of you? They were at first. They thought I was one of the X-Men. But once they saw I wanted to help, we built up trust. Is being an X-Men bad? Morlocks are used to being outcasts because of the way they look. There's a misunderstanding between the two groups, you know. Have you reconsidered Storm's offer? <laughs> I was worried about this question. Uh, I have no idea. That is okay. You do not need to know right now. There's still so much about the X-Men I don't know about, and I can't just leave the Morlocks behind. I am sure you will figure something out. Me too. See you later, Dahlia. I hope so. We worked well together on that last mission. I admire your leadership capabilities. You flatter me, Hunter. You spoke with Dahlia. Yes, I wanted to check in on her. I appreciate you doing that. I spoke with her as well. Oh? About what? 
I offered Dahlia another opportunity to join Xavier's school. You asked again? Third time's the charm. She said she'd sleep on her decision, so now we wait. I haven't been here long, but it feels like home. I can see myself spending lots of time out here. It's been nice getting to know you, Hunter. Nico and I shared a bonding moment over my punk phase. <laughs> it was endearing. Dahlia left this morning for Xavier's school. You do not sound surprised. She's got the safety of her Morlocks to consider. With so many X-Men out for the Shi'ar Brood War, there's space. The Morlocks were invited as well? Yes. Magic ferried everyone to the school. They'll be secure until the vampire threat is eradicated. I'm sure Dahlia is happy they were able to join her. It was her idea. She proposed the X-Men and the Morlocks share space at Xavier's school to better understand one another. She had a good role model to learn from. No, this was all her. She came to this decision despite my missteps. So, what are your plans, now that she is safe? You went out of your way to help me. It is only right that I return the favor. I will remain at the Abbey until your fight with Lilith is over. Enough is enough! We must destroy Dracula! Cut off the head, and the new breed vampires will fall! We don't even know where to find him. Well, we don't not know where to find him. I'm sorry, what are you saying? Honestly, I have no idea. I stopped reading scripts in 2016. I keep ad-libbing. No matter how many people tell me to shut Unless up, I... Unless you know I... where to find Dracula, shut up. Exactly! Like that! <coughs> but no, I myself have no clue where the Big D and his army of foo-fangers might be. But one of your clients might. Depends. You hiring? You? How? Doc Morbius said hemolisks give off a faint gamma signature, so I cross-referenced central satellite data to find concentrations of the stuff. Then, figured Sin never flies commercial. She thinks she's too good for it, right? So I checked shield data on private flights with suspected hydro connections around the time she first showed up in New York, then traced back to the point of origin. Oh, and that sunlight serum is basically magic in a bottle. I had a hunch the mirror table could pick up vats of the stuff. If they shipped it anywhere, why not home base? When you put those locations together and see where they all overlap... Voila. Dracula. And Sin, I'm guessing. You know I'm a journalist, right? By the goddess. What are we waiting for? the forecast. Clear skies ahead. anything behind us. Why stop there? Deadpool, Morbius, anything comes across that bridge. We Less talky, more shooty, right, Doc? Time to make a few 
house calls? <laughs> wow, that's a serious castle. Funny how no one knew it was here all this time. Most people can point out Transylvania on a map. Uh, maybe that's because it's pronounced Pennsylvania? A point well taken, Blade. Somehow, I always knew I'd end up here. And I could never picture myself in Dracula's domain. Little old me storming Dracula's castle. Fire! Ah! What a crossover! I'm glad he's having a good time. Haven't cut him loose yet. To think, we share some of the same traits. The same blood as these mindless retainers. Speak for yourself. I don't see the resemblance. Aside from the teeth, the eyes, that unique vampire aroma you all seem to have? That's not what I was saying at all. I didn't know Dracula was part of the oligarchy. Does he hang out with Stark at the country club? Have standards fallen that much? They never would have let someone like Tony Stark join the society. Would you two focus for a minute here? This is why I work alone. Dracula's dead. A strong partnership. Was that your full power? And then some. Venom and Storm with me. Morbius, Deadpool, can you buy us some time? Time for what? Let me guess. Tombside chat with Vladdy the Vamp Daddy? More of a pointed discussion. Disciple underestimate your power. As you underestimate mine. You must see it by now, Dracula. Your game is coming to an end. This time, you will be our Tory. Good. You're feeling confident. I don't want any excuses when you lay vanquished at my feet. Keep talking. I'm gonna enjoy this. How many times must you fail before you accept the truth? 
Our hunger is our strength. We will not suffer your bloodlust again! Your appetites are your own, beast. I see you We will satisfy them. We The damage you inflicted upon Dahlia will take years to repair. But at least she'll know her tormentor is no more. The girl should feel lucky to have served a higher purpose with her life. Her pain had meaning. We will see how you... Now we get down to it. The final curtain call. We both know. This is your last night. <laughs> Doubtful, but it has been truly an honor facing you, day one. Good riddance, bloodsucker. It's on his spine. <laughs> Nothing to be concerned about. You kissed the mother with that mouth? this, I'm not missing the boss fight. Nothing will protect you from what is coming. We'll manage. Oh, uh, did you want to get a lick in? Oh no, you had it handled. My concern, as always, is the bigger picture. The new breed vampires are no more. No more bad food? Maybe. You like pancakes? It is past time we go. Never been so happy to see a shiny blue hole. Oh, except for the time I met Ronan the Accuser. Beautiful. Do you think he's really gone? I'm cautiously optimistic.
not make the same mistake twice. Hunter, I hate to say you'll want to see this, but you'll want to see this. Come to the grotto, okay? Hunter, you made it. Ta-da! Our very own We86 the Prince of Darkness party. There are also tacos. Dracula is dead? You were certain? Certain as we can be. After Eddie located his castle, Blade led a strike team of Venom, Storm, Deadpool, and Morbius. Now there's no more Dracula. New breed vampires seem to be clearing up as well. So, any inspiring words to sum up this once only, fingers crossed, takedown of the vampire overlord of all time? For centuries, the Prince of Darkness has owned the shadows, but no more. Here, here. Tonight, we drove a stake through Dracula and drove them both into the ground. A bit out there, but I'm with you. Time to finish strong. Now the world throws off Dracula's cloak of darkness and looks forward to brighter days ahead. Goosebumps all over. Really? I thought it was over the top. I won't keep you from the party, but make sure you speak with Blade before you leave. Oh, about what? The greatest vampire hunter we know defeated the granddaddy of all vampires, vampires with a Y, and countless other fanged creatures of the night. I don't know, Hunter. What do you think you'd want to discuss? I don't like to be... You finally got to take down Dracula. And it felt good. Now we can celebrate our accomplishments. I know we're supposed to be relaxing, but I still can't shake the feeling he's gonna rise up from that coffin. We were chasing him for some time. Give yourself space to process the win. Morbius had his doubts, though. Maybe it's been eating at me more than I thought. He wanted Dracula gone just as much as you did. It is natural to be a little paranoid until time has passed. Guess that's a good way of putting it. I wish I could have seen Dracula's face after being bested by you. It's gonna feed my ego for weeks. Nothing can bring me down now. Remember, you did not do all this on your own. This weird-ass crew we put together did some good. Not in any rush to work with some of them again, though. You can just say Deadpool. He will not be offended. Heh. <laughs> you read my mind. There's two months I'll never get back. We better win this thing. Yes, help. Last time we had a party, things went south. But don't worry. I've counted at least six ways I can spice things up. I am eager to know your plans. It's all pretty tame. I was gonna ask Eddie to bring out the old symbiote and have him try my new spicy hot sauce. You were being literal about this spice. Uh, yeah. Come on, I'm not always a menace. It's called character growth. Look, I'm just here to party, not get slapped with a content warning. We are here to celebrate our victory. It is an appropriate time to be loose. Our victory? I know you weren't there when we smoked Dracula, but I did, like, all of the heavy lifting. Uh-huh. No one else came home with a broken leg. Neither did you. Shh. I'm trying to make a point. Team effort or not, I am still proud of you. If only I could get my parents to say the same thing. Oh man, have you tried these tacos? What's in them? You could ask Deadpool, but I do not think you will get a straight answer. You know, I don't care. Anything beats eating vampires at this point. Although, I've ingested so many vampire guts, I'm worried I might turn into a vampire. 
That is not how it works. You must also be bitten by a vampire. Hunter, we've been fighting vamps for ages. I've been chewed on more than a well-used dog bone. Do not worry. If you turn, I will put you down myself. Uh... Thanks, I think. I'm sure Blade has a wooden stake on hand. We could stab you through the heart and see what happens. Yeah, I'm good. Eddie, I am not actually worried about you turning into a vampire. Do you know why? Vampires do not crave tacos. Really? Yes. Do you see Blade or Morbius eating tacos? No, but I just thought they were on some kind of special diet. In a way, they are. Oh! <laughs> well, in that case, I'm going back for thirds.